right, we're going to do our week three rapid picks, man. We're going to start off, Courtney. We're going to go with you because we already gave our picks for Bears Colts. Who do you got winning on Sunday between the Beloved and Indianapolis? Yeah, I know we said rapid, but I kind of want to get this out there. I heard this weekend, echoing what one of you guys said earlier, uh, the Colts' overall defense is terrible right now. They are 29th in EPA. Uh, their pass defense is 31st in EPA. They're allowing 120.7 QBR right now uh, through two games. They are 26th in red, the red zone percentage and 24th in points allowed per drive. Uh, that defense is terrible. They allowed 151 uh, yards to Josh Jacobs last week, uh, averaging almost five, five yards per carry. Uh, that's terrible. I think the key to this game is getting the Bears running game going, and I do have the Bears winning this game and Caleb Williams getting his first win. I like well, to hear you know, that. Leading the team. I like to hear that. We're going to go to our next one. We're going to go in this order. We're going to go bang, Dante, Mikey, Courtney. And I'll start. So uh, Steelers Chargers in Pittsburgh. This is the Steelers home opener. Justin Fields trying to go for his first 3-0 start as a member of just in his career period. He definitely didn't go 3-0 with the Bears. Um, I'm Welcome. gonna yeah, I'm gonna go Steelers because I originally had Chargers, but then I saw that Justin Herbert is dealing with a high ankle sprain. So I'm going to go. With the Steelers, uh, I think Justin has a pretty good game as well. Uh, I think he'll throw for a couple touchdowns. Well, actually, I think I'll give him one touchdown, one rushing touchdown, and I think it'll be a good game for them. I do think that, um, you know, it's going to be a lot of conversation now because I don't think Russell Wilson is going to get off that bench anytime soon. I'm going with the Steelers with this one. Same. I had the Chargers until I saw that high ankle sprain. Steelers by three. Steelers by ten. Yeah, I got the Steelers. Uh, home debut for Justin Fields and the Steelers. They were on the road the first two weeks. I think they go ahead and get it done. Similar to you, I was riding with the Chargers until that uh, that that late news broke uh, on Herbert's uh, ankle this week. Uh, yeah, I'm riding with the Steelers as well. Let's see if Justin Fields can uh, can get that offense going in Pittsburgh that home opener. This next game, man, is actually. Much better than I thought we thought this game was going to be in week three. This one's kind of become an early marquee matchup. You got the 2-0 Minnesota Vikings at the crib hosting the 2-0 Houston Texans. I think this will be the game where we reminded of Sam Darnold and Sam Darnold. You're going to have big games for Will Anderson Jr., big game from Daniel Hunter, and, of course, a big game for C.J. Stroud in that offense. They will not have Joe Mixon this week, but that does not deter me. I've got the uh, the Texans moving to 3-0 uh, this week. Upset alert. I got the Vikings. Mm. I, too, have Minnesota winning this football game. I don't like this NFC North picking right here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm going to I'm gonna take C.J. Stroud just because I think that uh, D'Amico Rise is going to throw the house at Sam Darnold and kind of make him be a little bit uncomfortable. But I think Brian Flores will do the same. I don't think that this is a high-scoring game. This is probably a field goal game. Yeah, I'm uh, I'm riding with the Texans, but only by a field goal. All right. Um, this next one, man, you got the Eagles, man. A very hilarious loss last week. Uh, could have been one, but Saquon Barkley, like he always does, doesn't really know how to catch that well. Uh, and they ended up winning. Kirko, Kirko went down the field, man, and just walked them niggas down. And prime time. Which we always heard, you know, Kirk Cousins don't play one playoffs. I mean, playoff in a uh, prime time. He went out there, had a big, a big game, and I feel like the Falcons actually saved their season this early into the year. Uh, but the Eagles, on the other hand, they're looking to get a big dub. Gonna be on the road, going to New Orleans. And man, I'm gonna buy the New Orleans hype for one more game. I do not like this Eagles team. I have never been a Jalen Hurts fan like that, uh, and I just don't like, uh, you know, cheese steak. Matt Nagy is what I like to call Nick Sirianni. So I'm going to go with the Saints and this one. And I got them winning by multiple touchdowns. I got at least 14-point dub for the Saints in this one. Hey, man, the Saints going to go ahead and take this one in honor of Frankie Beverly, fam. So we're going to go ahead and give it to the Saints. Yeah, I'm going Saints. You know, Clint Kubiak is uh, lowering the murder rate in New Orleans. Shout out to him. <laughs> um, and he's going to keep that going. I think the Saints don't get the dub. Yeah, I'm riding with the Saints. Um, I'm not a believer in Jalen Hurts. Uh, and I'm just not really that impressed with this uh, Eagles defensive line. Um, you know, Jalen Carter is an amazing, amazing talent. 
Uh, but if he can't play four quarters and he can't stay on the field and he's over there sucking wind, then what good does he serve in passing down situations? So I'm riding with uh, with the Saints. We got what do we lose him? Do we even got to ask him on this one? Saints fan, hello. I got it. We can't hear. Are you there? From the Saints fan, I am here. Okay, go. Who you got? Well, no, we don't have it. We lost it anyway. <laughs> In addition, I am here to bounce. That's great. Yeah, yeah. There we go. Uh, are you there now? Uh, we gonna have to. We gonna have to move on to because we still ain't got her. I was gonna assume that she's got the Saints, so we we gonna move on to uh, the next game. And the next game uh, is the Buccaneers and Broncos in Tampa Bay. I've got another team that I believe is going three and the Bake Show. Uh, did you see my, my, my man uh, Baker hit, hit one of them niggas on the lines with a whoop whoop right on the field? That nigga, the he, he, he hit him with one of them. Uh, I, I think it's gonna be a long season for the Broncos. Uh, I really do. I, I am not a Bo Nicks fan, and more importantly, I hate I hate uh, Sean Payton, but I really has nothing to do with this actual game. I just think the Buccaneers are a good team, and I probably should pitch them with a division, but I got the Buccaneers winning this week, and I think the Bucks are gonna be three. And oh, ah, man, I was thinking about doing a little bit of an upset alert here, too. But nah, man, Baker Mayfield is about to go ahead and tear the Broncos another asshole. Uh, Baker Mayfield is currently one of my favorite Caucasians in America right now. Um, I think it just took Baker being humble, like he was a very arrogant motherfucker, and then he got smacked around a little bit, he got hurt, and now he's healthy, he's found his space. And Baker Baker is a really good quarterback, and so like he's somebody who's fun to watch. And I got I got the Bucks by, I got the Bucks by at least ten. Like we got to remember, Bo Nix is ass. Like I know we're doing the whole rookie quarterback thing. I I'm zero out of ten, not a fan of Bo Nix. So I got I got the Buccaneers. Uh, Courtney, do we have you or not? We have a technical difficulty. Can, can you hear us? Yeah, we can't hear you at all. We gonna have to. Hey, Courtney, have... Courtney, Courtney looked like my kids Brother, when they you... um on I'm FaceTime. Back. Yeah. No, you're not backstage. You're on stage, but you're breaking you up. Stay. You got, you got, uh, you got a uh, jail Wi-Fi right now. Oh, I was like, I can't. It's I'm backstage. It doesn't say that I'm on. My bad, guys. Uh, yeah, yeah, you're on. Yeah. So who you, I did have who the Saints winning that game. What what game are we on? Now? We on uh, uh I did Broncos. have the Saints in that game, and then I got Bucks for sure. Okay, you got the Bucks. Uh, Stoogie J in the chat said he got the Bucks defense getting two picks this game. Shit, they might get three. Nigga. I've right. seen Bo Nix throw that, throw that pill. It, it might be a, a big turnover game, man. We're going to go to our next game. Uh, the Titans and the Packers. Uh, Jordan Love, I don't know his actual designation. I don't know if he's questionable, but he did practice this week. Um, it really don't matter if he plays or not because they do devil work in Green Bay, and I think the Packers are going to win this game, whether it's him or Malik Willis, because we all know how uh, Will Levis gets down. And for some reason, Matt LaFleur just knows how to make all his wide receivers wide open. And I think the Packers are finding a way to win this game, unfortunately, with Jordan Love, without Jordan Love. Matt LaFleur might be the best head coach in the NFL right now. The fact that he's doing what he's doing with the personnel that they have – Man, I hate saying that. So, of course, I have the Packers winning this game. Motherfucker. Oh, uh, yeah, I got Green Bay as well. I mean, I think I'm at the point in my life where they beat our ass for so long. Away. I really don't <laughs> even, like. You, you can't even got the I, hate I, I no tip, more. I tip my cap to Green Bay, bro. They hire great coaches. They have great staff, great player development. Great, They're great at everything we're bad at. So, yeah. I mean, I, 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 too, have the Packers winning this game. I'm going to go ahead and go against the grain just for the sake of it. I'm going to take the Titans with the upset. Go ahead, Courtney. Can, I... can anyone hear me? Yeah, we cannot. Yeah, nah, we can hear you. Yeah, oh, yeah. I, I don't know because it says I'm backstage. My bad, guys. Yeah, no. I don't I, know uh, why I said I, I, yeah. I, I, yeah, no, I'm riding with the Titans. I, I think Will Levis is going to get his get back. Tough. Oh. Courtney, huh. Will Levis is ass. Huh? We're, we're can, you me, can you let me believe 
<laughs> Will Levis is Daniel Jones South. That that's who Will Levis is. Daniel Jones South. That's Will Levis. Um, we I was at when I was in Houston. It, I was like in a whole front row of Bears fans at the bar, and every last one of us after I think he threw the Jalen Reed. Everybody was like, "What is this? When when is this gonna stop?" Everybody that was just irate that they were still scoring well, points. Well, Courtney, I'll say this. Um, if he get if, if the way he got yelled at by Callahan last week. He better have a good game. He better have a good game this week. Yeah. That was some great concentration for sure. Like I, I think he's gonna get his get back. You, there's no way that you can let the guy who was your backup quarterback come in there and ball on you. Like you can't. You. you you can't do that. We got uh we got Larry Legend in about five minutes. Man, we are gonna get through the rest of these picks. Browns Giants. I mean, anytime the Giants come on TV, you expect them to lose. But someone's telling me. I got an upset, and I have no real reason why I got an upset, but I'm just going to pull the bang. Upset alert. I'm going with the Giants, and I have no actual football reason for this. No, don't know. Mar- we'll never say Mark Brunel. We're not going to disrespect whoa, 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 whoa. Mark Brunel and compare him to That is Will outrageous. That, that is, is outrageous. outrageous. That is outrageous. Well, well which stage of Mark Brunel? Because if he say Jacksonville, Just off the Mark Jacksonville, we can, we, I'll just off Jacksonville, we can't do that. Yeah, we can't we do can't, Jacksonville, Mark. We can't Brunel. do that, but I'm going Giants. Man, I'm going. Not only am I going uh, with the Browns here, um, Miles Garrett is going to have a four sack game. <laughs> yeah, I can see that. Uh, go ahead, I go. To... As much as I wanted to go with the Giants, I think Nasty Man and his team get it done. So I'm going to go with the Browns. Freak man, freak man. Yeah, I'm going to go with the Browns. I think Amari Cooper has a big game uh, this week. Yeah, I sadly have to ride with Cleveland. Uh, another another terrible game. Raiders Panthers. This will be the Andy Dalton era. I think that uh, my man Minshew gets another dub. Raiders gonna move to two and one. Got the Raiders winning this. One. Hey man, I got the Panthers. Mm. Got the Panthers in this one. Rear rifle getting smoked. Raiders. <laughs> The red rifle. I'm taking the Raiders, man. I'm taking the Raiders also. Uh pray for Andy Dalton. Uh this next game would have been good, but unfortunately two is not playing. So I'm going to go Seahawks over Dolphins. Uh that's exactly what I'm gonna do with this one because the Dolphins don't have a backup. So I'm gonna go. I mean Dolphins don't have their start. I'm gonna go Seahawks with this one. Boy, that Seahawks defense is going to have a field day. If you got him in fantasy, you better start him. Seahawks winning by 14. Go ahead, Dante. Uh, it's tough. This is tough. I hate to say it because, you know, no tour, even though I think, you know, they still have weapons and I still trust Mike McDaniel. I'm going to go with the Seahawks in this one. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to take the C, uh, Seattle Seahawks. I don't think Skylar Thompson could do it on the road. Uh, I'm going to go with the Dolphins simply because the Seahawks don't have Kenneth Walker. I know that sounds ridiculous, and you're like, one player does not an offense make, but I'm going to go with the Dolphins. Not by much, but I'm going to go with the Dolphins. All right, next game, Cowboys and Ravens. This is the big game right here. I don't think the Cowboys will be embarrassed like they did last week, but I think that there's no way the Ravens, as good as this team is, is going to go on three. I think Lamar Jackson has a big game, and I think that defense has a big game. And they remember they have uh, uh, Henry. So I got the I got the Ravens. I got the Ravens in this one. I do have the Ravens, and I have the Ravens big. This might be a game where you really start questioning how hot um, McCarthy's um, seat is. I have the Ravens by double digits. Um, man, I have my my MVP choice, Dak Prescott, and the Dallas Cowboys winning this game. I think it's going to be a very good game, um, but I think Dak and the Cowboys pull it out. I think this is the Lamar breakout game. I think we're looking at you know maybe close to two seventy five passing, but almost eighty on the ground. I think he scores two touchdowns. Give me the Ravens. You were on mute. Fine. Good lord, guys, we're really struggling today. Uh, I am. Uh, I'm going to take the Cowboys in a bounce back game at home. Uh, I'm going to think the Ravens are going to go down 0-3. I got the Cowboys. 
All right, we're going to go through Cardinals Lions. This is going to be another big game here. Lions lost a close one to the, at the crib at Buccaneers. So uh, I'm going to go with the uh, with the Lions in this one. I think they find a way to get it done. Uh, I'm going to go with the, with the Lions. Damn it, man. I'm, 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 I'm picking teams that I don't want to pick. But, yeah, the Lions is going to whoop the Cardinals' ass. Detroit. Give me the fighting Kyler Murray's and MSJ. I'm taking the Cardinals. Sneaky underdog. They're going to be at home. I think they're going to be able to give uh, this defensive line some fits. Kyler Murray running all over the place. Give me the Cardinals in a shootout. 34-31. I'm with you, Mikey. Give me the Cardinals. Absolutely. I think they're going to win this game. All right, all right. We're going to move on to Rams, Niners. This one I think is going to be – it's actually going to be pretty close because the Niners going to have so many injuries going on. Uh, and also the Rams. The Rams aren't that good of a team, but I think the Rams going to get a victory here in their home opener, man. I'm going to go Rams. Yeah, uh, both of these teams is uh, struggling with injuries early in the season. Um, all of the Niners' um, skill players looks like they're not going to be playing. Um, so if this game, this game is going to show us if Brock Purdy is worth what they might end up having him to pay him. And I don't think he is. So I got the Rams winning. I think Brock Purdy gets it done. I'm going to go with the Niners. Um, I just don't like, you know, I, they both teams are struggling with injuries, especially, you know, on the offensive side of the ball. I think it's, the Niners still have enough to get it done. So I'm going to go with the Niners. Yeah, I agree. And we all know Kyle Shanahan owns uh, Sean McVay. I think that similar to how we give praise to Matt LaFleur finding a way, I think Kyle Shanahan schemes a perfect game and finds a way to win one, uh, which essentially might end up being a, a home game for them as well. All right. Oh, go ahead. My bad. No, you're good. I'd forget about me too. Uh, no, I'm definitely going with the Niners. Uh, I, I think if you're a fantasy football player, definitely look towards those handcuffs. Uh, just like Jordan Mason stepped up for Christian McCaffrey, definitely look to Jawan Jennings uh, to kind of step up and also uh, Eric Sauber to step up in the tight end role if George Kittle does not end up playing on Sunday. I'm going with the Niners. Who? Eric right, Sauber. Gonna... Eric Sauber. I, I got to look him up. Sure. Got gotcha. you. All right. So uh, Falcons Chiefs Sunday Night Football in Atlanta. Uh, this one, I, I love what the Falcons are doing. I like I like the big win last night, but Patrick Holmes coming to town. I'm going with the Chiefs. Yeah, man, I got the Chiefs on this one right here in the blowout. Uh, I'm going to be at this game, actually. Shout out to working in sports all these years, being plugged in. Uh, I'm. With that being said, I'm going with the Chiefs. Chiefs, Chiefs by 10. Yeah, I'm going with the Chiefs. Uh, Patrick Mahomes is not going to make the same mistakes Jalen Hurts made. Uh, they will not be dropping that ball uh, to end the game. I understand the public's going to be on the Chiefs. I understand all of that shit. But at the end of the day, when you got number 15, more often than not, you're going to win. Uh, you know, y'all know I'm an Atlanta hater. Uh, but, I, gosh, I'm kind of convincing myself out of it. Now, nah, give me the Chiefs. Give me the Chiefs Sunday Night Football. That's a big stage. I'm, I'm rolling with Pat Mahomes. I will give you one caveat. Uh, the player in the NFL with the most NFL – most interceptions against Patrick Mahomes is Justin Simmons, and he plays for the Atlanta Falcons. So let's just keep that in the back of your mind as we head into that game. But you're probably right. Yeah, it don't matter. Patrick Mahomes on the field. I don't give a fuck who on the other field. That's Patrick Mahomes. It could be Ch uh, Champ Bailey, nigga. I, it's Patrick Mahomes on the other side of the field. I look forward to seeing them using Xavier Worthy on that turf. You're <laughs> right, exactly. He's going to go crazy. Last two games, then we're going to bring Legend, Larry Legend up here. Bills Jack. First of all, I hate the Monday Night Football double – Head of thing because they're always on at the same time. You're gonna do a double header, start one dumb early, like right. it's ridiculous. My, but the, I don't like that you're losing a Sunday afternoon game for the two game Monday night football format. I'm not crazy about that. Yeah, so uh, it's two uh, really ass games, so I don't care either way. But go ahead, you <laughs> uh, Bills, Jaguars, Bengals, Commanders. I'm gonna go with the Bills in the first game, and I'm gonna go with the Bengals in the second game. Yeah, man, I have the Bills in the first game, and I have the Bengals in the second game, too. Uh, give me Caucasian Cam Newton in game one, and I am going to take Jaden Daniels and the Washington Commanders in game two. Ooh, I like that. Uh, I'm taking the Bills, 
Remember, I told y'all first, Doug Peterson will be the first head coach fired this season. He will be fired before they take off to London. Uh, so give me the Bills and then give me uh, give me the Bengals. T. Higgins, big game. Yeah, I'm uh, I'm going with most of you guys. I'm I'm going Bills in game one and then Bengals in game two. I think uh, the Ravens will be the will go zero and three. And I like I said earlier, I think I think the Ravens should be scared. They should be scared. I'm going Bengals. All right, that is all we've got for y'all with the week three preview. We're going to see how this happens this week. That's so cool. So cool. On the other line, so I'm not gonna hold you. Money on the other line. So-